I was raised in a Christian home by Christian parents, doing all the things a Christian family is supposed to do. We had family devotions, we're in church anytime the door was open. I was part of every ministry there was for kids. But there's a problem. I knew how to be a religious kid. I just didn't know what it was to have a relationship with God. In my teenage years, I learned how to look like a Christian without actually being one. I knew all the answers to all the questions and I could fool a lot of people. But more than I was interested in what God had for me, I was more interested in my own plans for my life. And I certainly didn't want God getting in the way of the fun that I wanted to have. Things came to a head during my junior year at Houghton College. It dawned on me that pretty soon I was gonna graduate and then have to figure life out. I started thinking about the decisions that I'd been making and realized that my choices were taking me down some pretty destructive paths. And that scared me. I really had no idea what I was gonna do with my life. It was in my dorm room one night that God reminded me of a scripture that I had learned a long time ago. It was Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will direct your path. That night, I gave my life to Christ. I committed to following Him wherever the path led. I never imagined being a pastor. In fact, nobody who knew me when I was growing up imagined me being a pastor either. And there are still many days where I find myself overwhelmed by the idea that God would choose me. There's still plenty of times that I'm not exactly sure which decision to make or which path to go. But every step of the way, God is faithful. When I seek his face, he directs my path. I remember when I was asked to consider becoming the senior pastor at Prince Street Church. I had no experience and really no interest in being a senior pastor. I was still going to school. I had young children at home. I loved the church we were in and enjoyed the position I held. Leaving just wasn't in my plan for my family. Then God reminded me, this isn't about your plan. It's about my plan and I'm so glad I listened. I don't know exactly what the future holds, but I don't need to know what the future holds. I simply have to take the next step God puts in front of me.